Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Starfield video. In this one, I'm going to be showing y'all a useful glitch that you can utilize to get legendaries really easily for your playthrough. If you find this video enjoyable and it does help you out, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get this video to surpass, I don't know, 100 likes. That'd be cool to see. Thanks so much, by the way, for all of the support here lately over my Starfield content. So... Yeah, in order to do this glitch, first off, what you want to do is make sure you tune up your difficulty level to very hard, as you can see here. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to technically be playing on very hard, but in order to get this glitch to work, you will have to start on very hard. This is similar to a glitch that I've shown previously. However, there's a little bit different of a technique that I'm going to be showing you all to get legendaries more efficiently. So yeah, once you have it on very hard, you then want to enter into the area that you're about to go into to fight. Whether that be into a area like this, a random outpost or something that's on the planet, or just before landing on the planet, you want to make sure that you're on very hard. However, you're doing this to farm. So yeah, let's go ahead and enter into here. And then once you have entered into the area that required a loading screen to get into, once again, whether you just flown to a new planet or just simply went into an outpost like I'm showing you here. You then want to switch the difficulty to very easy. Now what this does is makes the enemies easy. However, the enemies now still will contain very hard loot, if that makes sense. The loot table is still on very hard. You just loaded into the area with very hard loot going on inside, if that makes sense. So now what we want to do is be on the lookout for legendary enemies. Legendary enemies will have like a bar like this underneath their level. As you can see here, I got two within this one area. And yeah, before you kill the legendary enemies, you want to make sure you save it. Because typically you find better loot on these enemies. And if you don't find a legendary item on them, you know what to do. You're just going to have to load your save and then kill them again and rinse and repeat that over and over until you do get a legendary item. Alright, there's a legendary right there from this one. I got a Repulsing Shock Troop Power Pack. Now I can just keep grinding this until I find an even better legendary instead of just continuing on. But yeah, that's how this method works. It's a more efficient way to come across legendary items. Just wait until you find a legendary enemy. You don't have to technically be at this same area that I'm at. That's why I'm not showing you the exact location that I'm at. Because you find these kind of enemies everywhere. Alright, there's another legendary. What's this one? Oh man, I gotta check that out. Tesla Scout Drumbeat. That sounds beautiful. Wow. Worth over 11k. Does more damage the less armor one has. Small chance to stagger enemies. And for the Tesla effect, rounds will sometimes emit electricity where they land that damages and slows nearby targets. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm keeping this one, and I'm not loading. I'm going with that. That is sick. I'm already using a pretty good drumbeat weapon, but that sounds awesome too. Let's check it out in action. Oh, yeah. Oh! Chain lightning too. That is awesome. How useful. Whoa, a 74? Legendary? Nice. Okay, this guy is way tougher. So I'm actually going to save it before this guy, too. Just got a good legendary from those. Now I'm going to make sure I get a good legendary from this guy. I'm actually going to lower his health more, too. So I don't have to take out as much on farming him. All right, that's low enough. All right. But, yeah, I guess that's all wrapping up this video. Hopefully you all found this enjoyable, and it helps you out in some kind of way. This method definitely has helped me out, so I figured it'd help you all out as well. That's why I decided to share this with you guys. I'm out of here, though, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace. <laughs> Alright. Got something from him. Frenzy Combat Knife. Damage increases, health decreases, randomly deals incendiary damage, small chance to frenzy a target.